This is the Home Assistant Connect ZBT2 and it's sort of the predecessor to the original Sky Connect, but this device is a whole other level in so many ways. It beats the Sky Connect tenfold. For example, the range of this device and the redesigned migration process, oh my god, I was speechless. You know what? Enough talking, let's see it in action. Alright guys, so just before we are diving in, I want to get this out of the way. I'm going to do a quick unboxing because unlike the old Sky Connect, which, which was just a USB dongle, this device design is way different. So let me quickly open up the box. And we have the base station. We have the antenna. And of course, some literature and a USB cable, which is nice. And the antenna just screws in to the base station. The base station is where the Zigbee chip lives. And the real magic of this device, which kind of looks like a toilet paper holder, in my opinion, the real magic of this device is the antenna. Because you will see it later in the video, even devices on the far edge of my apartment separated from this device by two brick walls, they function and operate as if nothing happened. And that's the real magic of this device. Because as much as I'm worried about range, I'm more worried about penetration. In a well-designed Zigbee network, you might have several devices that will be Zigbee repeaters or Zigbee routers. So the range is not very critical, but the repeaters must have a very solid connection to the coordinator and that's the real magic of this device because the connection to the repeaters will probably be very strong even behind brick walls all right let's get started all right guys so just a quick kind of before shot so to speak this is my demo home assistant computer it's a physical intel NUC computer and as you can see i already have a uh, ZHA based Zigbee network already up and running. I have a USB Zigbee coordinator and I already have several Zigbee devices already paired. I gave them generic names, but they are very real. And so for all intents and purposes, this is a real live Zigbee network that we want to migrate to the ZBT2, which is by the way, by far the most common scenario, people that will get a new Zigbee coordinator and will migrate an existing network compared to people who are just starting out a greenfield new Zigbee network. And that's our goal here. The Zigbee migration process was always a kind of a start and pray kind of process. It was very unstable and a lot of times it went south and people found themselves needing to repair dozens of devices. No more, but we will get to that. Right now, this is the before shot. And now I'm going to connect the ZBT2 to, a, to an, a separate USB port and we're going to start the migration process so I will be right back. Alright, so I plugged in the ZBT2 to a, a separate USB port and immediately it was discovered with this new fancy icon and so at this point we can actually start the migration process. So let's click on add now, the ZBT2 is multi-protocol, but it can only do either Zigbee or Thread. Of course, in this case, we will use it as a Zigbee coordinator. So we'll select Migrate to a new adapter. We'll select the recommended installation. And now it's updating the firmware. This will take about a minute or two. All right, so the firmware is installed. And so we are asked, do we want to set up the new uh, Home Assistant ZBT2? So let's click on Submit. It will start resetting the old adapter. It will restore the network settings. Look, and we are not even prompted to do almost anything. The entire process was re-engineered, I think, from the ground up. And I think it's the easiest it has ever been. And look, 
ZHA has successfully migrated from your old adapter to the new one and it will take a few minutes to stabilize and I think by far this migration process has never been easier and it's almost bulletproof now so let's click on close let's click on our device just to see the actual integration here we can see that the firmware is up to date we can if we want add beta firmware updates we're not going to touch on that for now let's go back to our zha integration and we can see that everything is still working i'm going to turn off my home assistant computer i'm going to unplug the old coordinator and i'm going to turn things back on and i want to see everything just works all right so i will be right back all right guys so i actually turned off my home assistant computer and i restarted or powered on back on the home assistant computer i gave it a few minutes to of course load up and now we can see that the entire zha or zigbee network is still up and running the devices are reporting their status and their uh, their info to the zigbee coordinator and even though we are still seeing the name of the, the old uh, the old coordinator the slzb07 we can see that the actual manufacturer is nabucasa and the model is zbt2 the migration is complete and actually it was flawless it was smooth it was almost completely painless and now that the migration process is finished of and again kudos to nabucasa to uh, for re-engineering this entire process that used to be a start and pray to almost completely flawless now it's time to actually test the the zbt2 device just a little bit to get a hang of just how powerful it is compared to other usb coordinators i'm going to actually place the device in one corner of my house and then i'm going to test a few zb devices in the other corner of the house a few walls separating between the two just to get a feel of how the zbt2 can handle stuff so let's get testing just a quick note here if you're anything like me then your ocd cannot stand the fact that you have a new zigbee coordinator and you're still left with the old coordinator name it's something that you can change and that's what i'm going to do right now i'm going to enter to the device page and then i'm going to press on the pencil icon right here and instead of slzb07 we are going to change it to zbt2 click on update go back and that's how we like it all right let's con let's continue the rest of the video all right i'm sorry it's going to be a bit loud because i'm going up to my porch and it's windy and there's construction outside but that's the farthest point of my apartment and the zbt2 device is way over in the back room over there separated by two brick walls and what i already did is i placed a motion sensor and a temperature sensor that i'm going to i've covered the motion sensor with the cloth because it was picking up a little bit of micro motions so now i'm going to take the cloth off the uh, motion sensor in order to trigger motion and we'll see it real time in home assistant that the device works and reports motion instantly. Let's go ahead and let's pull the cloth. Let's trigger some motion. And as you can see, in real time, instantly, the motion was picked up from the farthest point behind two brick walls. That's amazing. All right, guys, so that's my review of the new ZBT2 from Nabucasa. Now, I realize that the real-time test might seem a little artificial because it's two different shots edited together. I can assure you that this was in real time. I just had to edit it in order to make it side by side. Overall, the device performance is very impressive. Its range and penetration is just amazing and the redesigned migration process is so 
almost bulletproof. It was amazing. All right, guys, if you like this video, please give this video a like. It will really help me with the YouTube algorithm. Otherwise, I will see you all in my next video.